Let me show you a simple way for joining a Google Meet meeting. And I want to show you some of the settings that you got to set up before you jump into the meeting. Google Meet, if you're not familiar with it, is a video conferencing platform. So if someone sent you a link, it's going to be a video call. You could always turn off your camera and turn it into a voice call. And you could join a Google Meet from a computer or from your phone if you have the Google Meet app. In this video, I'm going to show you how to join from a computer. So this is what that email looks like. So that's one way you usually get invited where you could just press join a Google Meet meeting and join from there. The other way is sometimes people just will text you or email you this link alone. So if you have a link like this, you could go ahead and type this link in into your browser like Google Chrome, for example, and join that way. But usually I would just recommend you press join a meeting from this link from that email. Now, once you click that link, you will land on this page. But right now, let me go ahead and show you one other page before I show you more of this page. So I have this other tab open on top. If you go to meet.google.com, you could actually type in a code over here. So a link or a code, if you have it a different way, just put it over here and then press join and it will take you back to that same page I just showed you. Okay, back on this page. So then right over here, the first thing I like to do is I want to make sure first I'm logged into my Google account. Sometimes it's going to ask you to do that if you're not logged in already. If you are logged in, go up here, make sure it's the right email. So is it the same email they just invited you to? If it is, then you don't have to do anything. If it's not, press switch account and choose the right Google account. Some of us have multiple Google accounts, one for work, one for personal. Switch to the right one that matches whatever that email went to, this first email I showed you. In this case, I don't have to do anything. In most cases, you don't have to. Then before I press join now, this is gonna actually put me in the meeting. They could see me. Right now, they can't see me. Nothing is happening yet. I could go ahead and mute myself here if I want to basically start muted and then unmute myself. But usually, I wanna make sure I test my microphone. That's this drop down right here. I wanna make sure I have a nice volume. In some cases, for more advanced users, you may want to get a better microphone. They sell microphones, USB microphones you plug into your laptop or to your computer. They sound a whole lot better. So the sound quality you hear out of this microphone because I have a professional mic set up. So I'll put one in the description if you want a better microphone. Then your speaker, if you have headphones, they will appear over here. This is just using my speaker from my laptop, but you could then choose your speaker over here. Typically, you want to wear headphones for better quality so there's no kind of feedback. And then right over here, this is your camera. If you have different cameras, better quality cameras, you could test those or change those over here. In this case, I'm going to turn my camera off and just use this as a voice call. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and press join now. That's gonna put me right inside of that meeting right over here. So this is the presenter of the meeting. They typically have to let you in. So it looks like they've already let me in now. So I'm talking, this is me. And if I wanna turn my camera back on at any time during the meeting, I just have to press this little camera icon. Now they could see me as well. They have their camera off, so it's just showing their profile picture. I could turn my camera back on. This is how I mute myself if I don't need to talk. You want to make sure you're muted. And it's going to tell you if you're talking, it's going to say your microphone is on. Make sure it's turned back on over here. So you could always mute yourself from here. They have closed captioning over here too. So that's going to give you live captions that's going to appear on your chat. That is very useful. And then you could go ahead and present your screen over here and they have some other options. And I have a dedicated video to show you everything Google Meet has. This was just to show you how to join a meeting. But if you want to host your own meetings, if you want to learn all about the different settings that's available, I recommend you watch that next. Thanks for watching this one. I'll see you next time.